guys. I hope you guys are doing well. And, um, you know, I just thought I'd make this short video. Obviously, the country's mourning the loss of a, of a legend this week in not only South African rugby, but all around the world, um, Just from the best days. And, and I was just really inspired by all the things that I've been seeing on social media, um, Instagram, Facebook, and you know, all across Supersport and in the papers on the legacy that Joost has left and just found it really inspiring and I thought I'd just share a few things that really stood out for me about his life, things that I've learned from and I think that things that you know, anybody can learn from in terms of life skills and you know, things that can inspire us about the way that he went about his business and you know I'd, I'd never forget growing up as a young boy wanting to become a springbok wanting to play this amazing game of rugby um, which a lot of young boys in South Africa want to do you know Joost was always the go-to man like he, he was the man like that's just the way it was I mean a remarkable player like so agile so skillful always exciting to watch um, you know I remember I used to watch his tapes over and over and over again you know, watch the tape, go outside, do his moves, come back, watch the tape, go outside, you know, kick like yours, run like yours, score tries like yours. Um, you know, I'll never forget back in 1994, I was four years old, you know, that's how far back these tapes go, but I was four years old and it was a test against Scotland and Murrayfield, yours just came on the scene and there was a scrum and the ball just sort of like popped out of the scrum and what yours did was is he, he broke blindside from a scrum scored a phenomenal try in the corner. The week following that, scored another amazing try against England at Twickenham, um, like a chip and chase try. You know, the guy had electrifying pace. Um, and, and you know, who would forget in 1995, the, week, the year following that, when he um, tackled Jonah Lomo, you know? Um, and how inspiring have these, these, these videos and photos been of him and Jonah up in heaven, um, saying, well played, mate. Uh, welcome home, like so inspiring. And I think so many things stood out about about Yurst, the way that he played. Like for me, like he was never the most gifted nine. Um, he technically, like he never had the best box kick. He never had the best pass. Um, you know, <laughs> he just had so much X factor. Like whenever the chips were down, Yurst was always the go-to guy. Like whenever the team needed something, whenever there was a sniff of inspiration that they needed, whenever, you know, Ewist was the man. Like, he'd step in and do remarkable things. I mean, if, if you got cl close to that white line, like he had white line fever, you'd know that if, he, if you gave him a sniff at it, he was going to score. And that's what really set him apart. I mean, his character and, and just the grind. I mean, if that's the right word that I can use, the way that he used to grind it out, like he was so tough. And, and, and such a fighter on the field, you know, on defense. I mean, he used to tackle out to shreds. I used to, I, I used to love it. Um, and, and his physical presence. I remember 1999, um, in that game that he only De Beer kicked all those drop goals, um, you know, against England in the quarterfinal of the World Cup, where US scored in the corner. Now, everybody remembers Yanni De Beer for the drop goals. And I mean, well done to him, it was, it was phenomenal. But he just scored a vital try um, in the corner. Yanni De Beer kicked it up and under, like a cross kick up and under. And I think Peter Rousseau gathered it or something, played Joost on the inside. Joost carried like three guys on his back, fending Oaks off, like the guy strapped from, from head to toe with, with strapping. And that was just like the tenacity of the man. And I mean, he showed that on the field, he showed that off the field through his illness. Um, so so inspiring and I just thought I'd make this video I'd love to hear a few things that inspired you guys about Hewist um, like I said found it really inspiring in the week um, you know all the things that have been said about him and I just wanted to do this video hopefully to inspire you guys and you know I just thought about it once again like we only live once and 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 I mean we've got to utilize what we have I mean all these talents that we've been given these God-given talents sometimes we're so stressed and worried about life and you know like life gets you down sometimes but at the end of the day like we've got to enjoy it and and we only have for for a little while <laughs> so let's give it everything we got you know so i hope that could inspire you guys and drop us with some comments i mean what inspired you about us um definitely left a legacy so hope to hear from you guys soon